Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. RJ is off at a rodeo and this weekend's super busy, so I don't know if we'll have time to podcast tomorrow. So I'm doing it right now while I have time. Um, you have to excuse me. I've been mowing, so I'm itchy. Um, so if you see me, you know, uh, uh, pull the tick off me earlier too, so that wasn't very fun. Anyway, all right, this it is August 26, 2017. Here's a bud. Um, <laughs> This is update 149, I think. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, all right, we're going to move right on into it. In the barn stalls. Um, had a lot going on in the barn stalls. Um, we lost Gidgey. Really don't know why. Um, she was fine the day that she passed away. Um, we had farm visit, we had people through here, she ate cookies, there was no sign that anything was wrong. I went out about 6.30 and she had passed away. Just laid down and passed away. So, um, it was crushing, especially since we had a soft spot for Gigi, but, um, it is what it is. It, it's Doc said there could be a hundred things, but since she hadn't been sick, she hadn't had any problems. We may never know, and I didn't want to have to pay for another necropsy, so um, I just said let it be. Unfortunately, um, then poor boy, I call him poor boy. R.J. has gone to calling him Gordy, short for Gordon. Uh, he's a calf that we got in who had fencing or wire wrapped. Um, it, it had been wrapped around his leg. And the wire had been removed. Somebody had been, either they thought it would be okay or I don't know. I, it's an older wound and it's infected. And, and when you get him up, it starts to drain stuff out, which is good. So we get him up quite frequently. There was a bunch of dried mucus and pus in there. RJ cleaned all of that out. Um, and we're keeping the wound as productive as can be so that it'll drain all that out. Um, talk to the vet. We've got a cone on his head because he can lick where the wound is. Um, yeah. It's just going to be a long drawn out thing. In a couple of weeks, he should be getting better. He should be fine. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. Uh, then today, um, we got in Murphy. He is a two-year-old little mini donkey, and he was taken from his mama today, and he came here. So, uh, it is what it is. Um, he's sweet as can be. He gets scared, though. He, he's in a pen just opposite the, the men because I want to introduce him slowly. And uh, But he's on the back side of the man pen. And his bray is so funny. He's just... <gasps> it, it's hilarious. And, and you can hear it everywhere. So, yeah. Um, but day... We now believe she is not bred to the beef bull of Eddie's. If she is bred, she's bred to Mr. Zebu, and RJ's not happy about that. We have a friend who's going to come out. They're going to draw blood and see if she is um, pregnant at all. We'll send that off um, this week, and then we'll know something by whatever Wednesday they get it in. They just email, they mass email everyone um, on Wednesday. So. Uh, oh, sorry. Anyway, I went to pick up ropes and came back with a mini donkey. Oh, well. RJ was kind of tickled, to be honest with you. So, anyway. Alright, let's see. What else? Mending fences. Um, A lot of little things going on. Uh, took down the temporary shelter out here in the goat pen. Moved it around. I've got to get things... Uh, I've served my list. I've got to get things cleaned up for winter. Um, we close to the public in about a month. So that is when these lists will go in. 
to affect. Tomorrow, I've got an H brace that I've got to get up. I've got um, one piece of wire that I've got. I say one piece. It is, I have two spools of barbed wire, and each one is 1,320 feet. No, yards. I don't know. Anyway, it's a long stretch, and we're going to do five eighths of a mile. So I've got one. Uh, it's actually two wires, but you have to tie them together so that I have one wire um, that I need to get up. So, yeah. Uh, the T posts, I went and worked all the T posts and fence posts between here and the creek, and I have all of those set good. If they're busted, they have a T post with them, and we'll just tie on the new wire to the T post and then eventually just take off that old. Uh, post. So, anyway, got that going. I'm trying to think of what else has gone on. Just lots of little stuff. Just lots and lots of little stuff. So, um, just trying to get things cleaned up and put up. And Lee's still working on the tree. He's probably got half of it done. It's a big tree. Just saying. So, he's been working on that. We're getting ready to finish up the hay. Uh, leave a sharpening the sickle today. Depending on the weather, we may be dropping that next week. Or I say next week. It's probably Monday. But anyway. Um, in the yarn farm. Just getting stuff ready for the fair. Um, I did do a little bit of dyeing um, of some camel stuff. But it's not for sale. It's not in the yarn farm. It's just my personal use. So again, uh, on the porch. So, um, trying to think of what else. It's just been a lot of haphazard stuff. Um, it, we've started school around here. They're staggered at different times. But um, for the most part, I think all the kids are back in school. And we have now become the uh, one-day destination to kind of to break up the school year. So, on the weekends, we've been pretty busy. But, uh, and so, like, some of the schools are doing um, four days a week. So we'll be busy Monday and Friday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is really slow, which we're closed Wednesday and Thursday anyway. So it just depends. All right, in the fields, yeah, getting ready for haying. Already told you about that. Um, reclaimed the garden today for the most part. Um, it's not perfect. I'm going to get out there and start trimming back Vine City. And I missed another zucchini, and there is one out there that is like huge. I'll get it tomorrow. I didn't find it until today, so. But um, I am going to, I've got the new trellis idea, and I called the uh, lumber yard. Sorry. Um, to find out what it was going to cost to make my wonderful trellis out of pipe. And it is going to cost way too much. But he said I could use thicker PVC pipe and that way um, it would be uh, removable. I could just take it down in the winter. So who knows? I'm going to try that. I'll look into it. We'll see. In the farmhouse. Okay. I've been kind of busy. I got my um, herb of the month or whatever you want to call it. My thing and this time it is I got elderberry syrup packets so um yeah we'll see uh, and I haven't even read this thing so I really couldn't tell you anything about elderberry syrup so I will be reading up on it because there it is just saying so I'll be reading up on that. I haven't done it. And I'm just tired. Um, just a lot going on. So uh, the other thing in the farmhouse is that we will be doing the petting zoo for the county fair. Um, if you remember last year, we kind of had a disagreement with them. They, I'll give you the short version. They didn't contact us, didn't contact us. So we assumed that they had somebody else. We went. 
I went in to put in my um, exhibits on Wednesday and they said, well, we've got this other family. They want to do it. If they don't do it, is there any way you could do it Friday? I said, okay, but you have to give me a call by Friday at 7 o'clock in the morning. Give me two hours to get here with the animals and get them rounded up. Well, that Friday morning, it was thundering, lightning, pouring down rain. They never called. So I thought, well, we don't need to do it. They called at 9 o'clock and said, you sh you're still coming, right? If it weren't for the kids, I would have said, nope. But it involves kids and a chance to educate them to animals that they don't ever see. So, RJ and I ran around, got everything lined up, got everything in the trailer, got halfway down this half mile here, so got about a quarter mile down the road, called them and said, okay, we're on our way, and the gentleman goes, never mind. So, I was pretty hot that year, and that was just last year, and we got asked if we would be willing to do the petting zoo this year. Well, I made the gentleman that caused all the ruckus last year, I made him apologize to myself. I made him wait a week to figure out if we were going to do it or not, um, and then he still owes RJ a, an apology. Um, so if, if he doesn't get that, then we will not be doing it again, regardless. I'm just going to tell him no. Uh, but we have about a month and a half notice, so that's good. We're okay with that. And there's plenty of time to, um, do it. I already have the cookies. I was at Sam's, knew I'd need extra cookies. So, um, I just, I'm sorry, my hair is yucky. Uh, I just um, picked up extra animal crackers. So, um, anyway, so there's that story. Then, let's see. I am working on my fur stuff. I guess I should tell you. I have this one up here. Um, this did not start out to be this bright. Okay, just saying. So, picture this with jeans, a long sleeve t shirt, just a white t shirt and this little like vest over it. Um, now I think I figured out I have 27 rows left to do on this side. Okay, so this is not, um, the top isn't sewed like it's going to be, but it goes across like so, and so, and then it's just kind of loose fitting in the center. So it's, and I've already got the bottom here sewed up. Oh, I'm holding it crooked too. It's because the top isn't done. So this is the top. Okay. This is the top. Let's put it like so. And then this down here is already um, sealed up. And this is sealed up. And I haven't decided if I'm going to leave a long slit where the armholes are or put very definite, here's where your arms go kind of thing. Um, I do know that when I am, <laughs> sorry, that when I am stitching it up, I am using the color. And, and this will go like this. It won't be, um, you won't see the seams. Okay, so this is the seam right here. But it'll be, this is what you see. So, um, anyway, I did let RJ pick the colors. You can tell. This is not anything I would pick colors to, but you know what? It's very loud. It's very stylish. Um, I probably could be able to give it away at some point or... I don't know. I just, these three right here, this orange, yellow, and this pink over here, they're a little bit brighter than I like. The blue and the purple over there oops, aren't so bad. Um, they are dark, but yeah, it's blue, blue, and purple. You can see better, you know, by dropping it down. So, anyway, 
it's going to be a, a little best thing. So I'm almost done with it. I think I've got 22 rows or something on there. Um, and it's done corner to corner, whatever. So um, that's my little vest. I did some. Oh, I did some. Uh, Sorry, I did some spinning for the fair. Sorry, I did some spinning for the fair. It is purple, but you can't really see. It's a wool and camel blend, super soft. And I spun it and dyed it. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, cattle dyed, so it's not all the same color. It's blotchy, and I really like it. So, there you go. There we go. That's showing you how it is. But anyway, I have that one done. And that is also for the fair. And then, um, I know I'm not very uh, prepared to type the cast. But, all right. So then, um, you put in each fair anything that you made over the year that fits their categories, okay? So, um, I know y'all probably remember my flower. Well, I turned it into a brooch, and there's actually a class for a brooch. Um, there's a class for Christmas ornaments, so I just needle felt it a little um, thing. I'm trying to get more wool into the fair, so that's hence why the little things. I made this little hat. It's cute. I like it. Can't wait to get it back out of the fair and wear it. Um, so I've got that. Um, I did, I made this, and I don't know if I ever showed you guys. I just made it for me to use, whipped it out, and it's a pot holder. It's, yeah. I don't know. I just, I needed something to take casseroles out of the oven. I kept tired of my other one not working, so I used that one. Um, I did a poem and a life story and then I worked on this of course everybody I don't know if you that's, that's kind of yeah it's going to be hard to show this oh and I have some soap that I made put in the pair too um I don't know I wonder if I do that Okay, I don't know what you're seeing because what I did was I turned off the screen. So, um, that is my little wool um, needle felted photo picture, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I uh, just framed it out, made it look a little bit better, which I like because then I didn't have to, the, the little structure that I had in the needle felting, which looked kind of weird. It didn't come out very good. Um, it got cut out anyway for that, so I was happy with that. All right, so I've been working on those things for the fair. Um, I'm also going to make my goat's milk, cheese, and chive bread to put in the fair. I don't know that RJ is going to do anything, but I always want to help it. it. Our fair is kind of... Well, it was kind of going away. It, less people were taking part. Um, so the fair board this year is trying to build it back up. And I try to take part every year, but I did. Um, they asked that we look around and see so that we don't overlook something that we've made. They're like, look at everything that you did this year with intention. You know, can you um, put it in the fair? So a lot of things that I did like the little wool picture that I made. I did that for Valentine's Day for a booth that we had. Um, so, yeah. I just figured, hey, it works. It's good. Um, so, that's pretty much all I've been working on. The reason that we don't have time tomorrow to podcast is RJ has a friend over today. Um, they were working on a horse. RJ's trying to help him prepare the horse for sale. 
Um, they've got, I think, two buyers coming tomorrow to take a look at him. And then um, after that, he's got a roping. I have farm visits scheduled throughout the day. Um, I've got to get down there and get some more stuff done in the garden, fit in the doctoring of the calf each day. And I'm also going to try and find Murphy, the Jack, a place to be. Um, I don't like that he's by himself. So he'll either go into the man pen or into the calf pen or out on the pasture. I don't know which yet. And I don't want to put him out in the far pasture. I want him up with the goats and the sheep. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But we are definitely cram packed um, doing stuff this weekend. So uh, it is what it is. And RJ's got another rodeo tomorrow too. or roping. I don't know if it's a roping or a rodeo. But him and Cody are both going. They're out tonight. doing it. And then Cody lives two hours from here. So when he brings up the horses. I think we have more visiting horses this weekend than we have any time because RJ has got a head horse that he borrowed, or no, a heel horse that he borrowed. Um, and then he's got Cody's, this other horse that they're working on, all of ours. I, I don't know. There's too many horses out here to keep track. But I am going to sit here and pretty much try and finish this, watch a little TV. Um, just kind of relax. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. The neighbor's dogs, again, are... And the neighbor to our north got a new dog. It's easy to run off, but, God, it drives my dogs crazy. So you hear them all night. But anyway, I'm going to get out here, go take a shower, um, and then get to crochet. And i got to make Cody's bed. <laughs> the couch makes that into a bed. And I haven't done it yet. So, I gotta get Cody's bed made. Um, yeah. But anyway. And then, um, hopefully September 1st, we will be changing things up a little bit. And we'll let you know how it goes. So, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll, you'll see the difference. So, we hope. Anyway, I will talk to y'all next time. I really just don't have a whole lot of anything. Remember to like, subscribe, go to the shop, see if there's anything you need. Um, oh, I have been dividing my milk and getting some in the fridge so I can make some more soaps. So look for those. I think that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.